Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review the ISDT BG8S battery checker but this is not your ordinary battery checker. This one enables you to charge USB devices and even test your radio receiver. Inside the box we're getting a screen protector, the instruction manual, the ISDT BG8S and even a lanyard as well. The BG8S is much bigger than the BC8S. It weighs 57 grams and its dimensions are 80 by 55 by 19 millimeters. You can either power it up by plugging the XT60 plug of your battery or just by plugging your balance cord. After plugging the XT60 connector, if you want to get the voltage of each cell, you will have to connect the balance cord and then you can see the state of each cell up to the third point, which is I think the first device that I've seen that gives you such accuracy. On the top left, you can see the total voltage and over here, you can see the difference between the cells in millivolts. If this number is high, let's say more than 50 or 60 or something like that, it means that your battery is not balanced correctly. In order to enter the menu, you have to press this button over here. Then you can change the language. You can set the backlight between low, middle, or high. The volume can be set to high, middle, low or off. Let's set it to low. System information, you can see all the data here. Receiver tester, we're gonna get to this function later in the video. Alarm tone, singular or repeat. After the balance process will be finished, alarm will be sound. So it's gonna be either one time or repeatedly. Low voltage alarm, you can set to the voltage per cell that alarm will go off. Let's set it to 3.4. Again, you get high accuracy up to the second digit. USB charge, one of the best features. It enables you to connect a USB device. And then we have to press start. And you can see that now the USB device is being charged. You can see the voltage is 5.1 volt. It draws 0.2 amperes, one watt, and the alarm will go off at 3.4 volts per cell. Next in the menu is the cells balance. This device has the ability to balance your cells. Just press it and then it will balance it. And when it will finish, the screen will be changed to blue and also an alarm will be triggered. If you want to stop it manually, just press stop. And there you go. Next thing I'm going to show you is how the receiver tester is working. I'm going to test it with this RATF receiver from Radiolink. So what you need to do is to connect the ground all the way to the left, then the voltage and then the signal. So I'm going to connect it with this servo connector and I'm going to power off the receiver using a 2S battery. You might need to use a BEC depending on the supported voltage of your receiver. So I'm just go going to connect it here and you can see once it's connected, the BG8S powered up. You can choose either PWM or SBUS. I'm using SBUS on this receiver and now I'm going to power on the remote controller. And now you can see that it's working and you can test all the channels You can see that everything is working. And if I will turn off the transmitter, you can see now it's on failsafe and we have this alert. So if you want to identify which channel you're using and to make sure that everything is working correctly, it might be a very usable option for you. By the way, this device also has a very nice feature that ISDT implemented is that instead of using this auxiliary port that you have to use in conjunction with the ISDT SC linker in order to update the firmware, here it just uses a micro USB port and hopefully ISDT are going to implement the same thing also for their future chargers as well. Another nice feature that I think that should be implemented in their next product is the ability to discharge the battery. Maybe this device has to be a little bit bigger because they will have to implement a fan but still having the ability to discharge a LiPo battery could have been great. Overall, I think that the BG8S, this is a very nice product. If you're debating where to get the BC8S or the BG8S, I would go for this one only for the option to charge USB devices, which in my opinion can be very useful. And of course, you can build something like that that will cost you probably like $3 or even less. But having the ability to monitor the voltage of each cell while charging a USB device on the go, I think it's a great plus. So as always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this product, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye.